my dad was diagnosed with kidney cancer when I was 17. So from a young age in high school, I wanted to cure cancer. My dad had a disease that didn't have a lot of drug options. And so I went into oncology thinking, I want to treat and cure diseases that don't have a lot of options. I am a medical oncologist in the Department of Hematology Oncology here at Fox Chase Cancer Center. I specialize in gastrointestinal oncology um, with a clinical and research interest in upper GI cancers and cancer survivorship. We have an amazing GI oncology program here because we have both breadth of expertise and depth of expertise. We have a close relationship with our surgeons and radiation oncologists. Being a specialist in a particular cancer gives me a better understanding of how to treat someone's disease um, and also maybe how to treat someone's symptoms around their disease. I think it's really important not only to be talking to patients about how to treat their cancer and, and what their prognosis is going to be, but what's important to them. And then based on that, we can try and tailor our chemotherapy and treatment regimen to their other responsibilities. Because cancer should be a part of your life, but it shouldn't be the only thing that you're thinking about. The importance of coming to Fox Chase first is that it gives us all options. And that includes standard treatment options, it includes clinical trial options. You know, we may have some novel interventional techniques or technologies um, that may not be available anywhere else. I am actually involved in two different types of research. One is um, GI oncology, so I have a, a very strong interest in early phase drug development for GI cancers. I also have a very strong interest in cancer survivorship. I live and breathe GI cancers. It's what I think about when I come to work when I'm seeing my patients. And I really think that not only are we maximizing the best treatment option for a patient, but we're also maximizing their quality of life and making sure that the life that they're living through their cancer journey is the best it can possibly be.